What's going on everyone? Aaron and Vicky here with Dose of Sobriety. Uh, <clears throat> a lot of times when we do the videos, um, even though we're telling, you know, true and sometimes embarrassing uh, stories, um, you know, sometimes we can kick some uh, comedy into it to at least make it funny, but that will not be um, part of today's video. As you can tell from the title, um, a very young girl, a child, basically 19 years old, um, overdosed and died on heroin. So Vicky's going to give you a little bit of a background. Keep in mind, we did not personally know this girl, but... Uh, she was a friend of our daughters while they were friends and she kind of, I guess, what, shied away from her a little bit. And uh, I never, didn't really know why, but um, come to find out that she had been taking pills and got worse with that. And I believe heroin is what she yeah. was really bad with. And uh, she was 19 and she, I'm going to say accidentally overdosed. However, uh, well, we'll get to it a little bit later in the uh, video. We did find out some other um, information with it, though. So, we're not going to use the young lady's name. Well, her first name is Savannah. We're not going to use her last name. But this is a real uh, tragedy. Not just for her and what she could have been. Not just for her family and friends, but also the community. Because, you know, you're talking about someone who, at 19, you haven't even started your life. So, you can't say, oh, she was just beginning life. That doesn't even happen until, you know, your early 20s, maybe even your early 30s. Uh, she was truly just a child at this point, had no business messing around with the things that she was doing. Um, but that's just what it is, you know, I mean, there's times you're hearing about 15 and 16 year olds uh, doing this, you know, uh, messing around with these hard drugs and the end result is never anything good. So what can we do to you know really get a grip on these things well I had two ideas and um, the first one being is educating children at a very young age and continuing that education I don't see a problem with talking to a young child um, you know keeping them in the dark or keeping them protected from these realities is doing them no good at this point maybe that worked 30 years ago but right now I don't believe it's any um, it's doing these children any justice we you know the education process on the hard drugs and what it's doing needs to begin at a young age if they understand what you're saying it's time to talk to them about it well and get involved with your kids be nosy snoop around if they don't seem themselves there is no privacy rules when you're a parent I mean snoop in their phones do whatever you have to do because obviously they're not going to come and talk to you about it because when you're addicted to something that is your whole being like it takes over your life you know you're not going to come running to your mom for help you know necessarily or your dad so i would i would be up in their business go on facebook check who they're talking to on there who their friends are if you have to get in your car and follow them whatever snoop in their purses just anything. I mean, if they don't seem right, don't just think, oh, my kid never would or wouldn't because I was that kid too. Yep. Me as well. Do not rely on the school system to educate your child on life matters. It's not going to happen. It's not their job no, it's either. No, it's not their job either. But I remember the D.A.R.E. program. Okay, I don't know how it is ran today or even back in the day in other cities, but let me tell you my experience with the D.A.R.E. program. What they did at our school or in our city was they came into your classroom one time in the fifth grade just before you moved on to junior high school. Okay, they did a 20 or 30 minute presentation and that was it. You never seen that D.A.R.E. officer again. You never spoke with them again. Um, they didn't really take any initiative in what they were doing or, you know, stay on us as children. You're talking about a wasted resource right there. Okay, if they're going to do it, they need to really do it. Uh, they need to know these kids. They need to be in their lives, in their business. If you're going to have a resource, use it and make it effective. Now, it could be different today. And if it, if it is, tell me it is. I, I don't know. We don't have young children. Um, but that was how it was when I was younger. 
and um, <clears throat> you know you have YouTube okay don't just use it uh, utilize to, it yeah I mean there know? there are documentaries made for children about drug addiction and the dangers of it and alcohol and um, you know made for your child to understand what's going on and then as your child gets older there's better or different documentaries that they can watch or things that they can learn programs well, that are in that place the just say no thing that's, I it, mean that's not enough no, that's not it's enough not. it's not gonna work it's not gonna happen too many young young people are getting involved with stuff and they're killing themselves not on purpose no. but they're gone and it's then it's too late if you I mean if you don't get involved with your kid now in, in this young lady's case this child's case god it's, it's fucking terrible um not too long ago she had went and uh retrieved heroin for her and a good friend of hers a, a young man r roughly the same age obviously a teenager she gave him his portion she kept her portion he would go on and um die while using what she went and got them and she was living with this she was hauling around this this pain and yeah, this burden you know, the guilt of it um who knows if what she did was on purpose i kind of doubt it but still she had to live with it you know and we we were seeing comments that people were posting on the guest page you know like um you know about her pain being over and you know stuff like that so it could have had you know it could have been tied into that uh situation i'm sure that's a tremendous amount of guilt to live with um but then again i'm just saying if you're addicted to something she is probably so lost. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Who knows? She, I, it might it have just bounced right off my heart her. because uh, we're blessed with four kids that are good. we you know, they're two are her age, a little bit older. One's but, a little younger, and then we have yeah. an oldest. But we have know. three in college. Two of those three already career women, um, in both in serious relationships. The boy, he's just in college. You know figuring out what he's doing full scholarship full scholarship to a, a private university it's a major Wait. university here where we live um, all this is married with kids yep, and all this is married with kids and a career woman as we haven't had to face like you know drug addiction like that or anything yeah. but we never hid talking with them about anything they could talk to us about anything they knew the reality we were in and we shared it with them like this is what it is this is you know this is what it leads to you know I mean granted we've been in some bad spots but not you know there's uh, people have been in way worse but anyway we could have, we could have gotten to that the yeah. worst spot that other people have been in or whatever yeah. we were just fortunate enough to you know want to be better so we did the work yeah. and three years later almost we're both sober but the second thing that really needs to start happening to um you know really get a grip on these children you know dying from these drug overdoses is the drug dealers um something has to be done you know a couple years in prison you know and that's coming from someone who you can use your imagination but i took part for many years in all kinds of illegal activity okay you can take it as however you want and um i still firmly believe that if you are caught selling any drug that is illegal I mean you are contributing to ruining lives okay I myself have watched lives be ruined this is before my addiction was even in full swing I was doing what I was doing and I'm watching people's lives be ruined I knew that money was switching hands that should have been going in their kids mouth or keeping a roof over their head I mean it's almost like you know if you plot a murder yeah. I mean, you're basically, when you are selling, it doesn't matter if they're 15, 18, 30. I mean, you are basically contributing to destroying that person. I mean, that will me, destroy you. You know, I, I believe in things being even, okay? Now, yes, she was, this young lady was using drugs. There's no doubt about it. That was her problem to deal with in life. But now, this person who sold it to her, he was out making money off I'm of her weakness today. okay he used her weakness to benefit now her life is over in my opinion his freedom should be over you know you forfeited that and if it would have happened to me and they secured my freedom from me 
I would have understood. But I've always been willing to answer for my wrongs. So that's well, a little different. A slap on the wrist. Or, a slap on know, the wrist is not going to work. In, in they need to make know. examples of these. And, make an example an of these drug dealers. Almost, yeah, you know, almost. I mean, I mean ju ju just sad. short of these people dying with their victims, it needs to pretty much be an eye for an eye. You know, this person needs to be in prison for the remainder of his life. Well, I agree and, with that. You know, did he straight up give her heroin? Or did no. he tamper with it? So right he, there, yeah. to me, is he contributed to killing her. And that's what if happens. That's, you, you know, you what get happened. You get the stuff you already don't know what it is, and then you take it in your basement, and you put shit that you don't know what it is, and you go out here and sell it for a profit, and let people put that in their veins, in their nose, whatever, and then you want to try to avoid responsibility for your actions. No. These drug dealers need to be getting locked up with big numbers across the board you know i mean people are gonna say oh weed's not a drug the law needs to be the law okay yeah, there shouldn't be there shouldn't the be a gray area the law. okay if you're caught selling weed and that's illegal big numbers I mean, across the board drive you go to jail yeah so you buy so, alcohol for minors you go to jail i'm gonna you um know? real quickly i'm gonna put a picture of the young lady up um either in the beginning of the video or at the end of the video, I'm not sure. Only her first name is exposed. We're not gonna expose her last name or you know, any personal information about her. Um, well, her struggle's over and pretty much no one's gonna answer for this bullshit. That's really what it's gonna come down to. No one will be held responsible. Exactly. Wow. So, look if you're uh, if you don't worry about liking the video, don't care about this one, um, as far as that goes, you know, but if something in this video or any of the other videos or something that can help you or a loved one who's struggling with addiction, subscribe to the channel, share a video, um, whether it be from this channel, another channel, who cares, just something that you know will help the person in need. So, hope everyone has a good new year, and um, good luck. Oh, that's what say something?